Hi there, this is Kevin over here and here I welcome you all to the fresh episode of new IoT with Firebase series. So guys, as you, if you know you are my previous subscriber or not, so I have started this IoT with Firebase series around two years before. So this first tutorial was on, uh, was on 2018 and now I was using a library named Firebase Extended Firebase Arduino previously. So this library was started five years ago was started and after it, uh, it got contribution in two last two years. But what happened you can see uh, if I check this repo also there is no development going on. And even if I go to the issues, there are a lot of issues are there. People aren't able to send the data and people are facing a lot of issues and there is no queries getting resolved over here. So I also got to know in the comment section like uh, there is a lot of issues are coming like we, uh, after some time you are not able to send the data you are getting a set number failed issue and lot of issues you guys are facing. So uh, and even I was thinking like what will be a best alternative how to get the fixes done because if you have uh, because fire using firebase with iot is one of the important thing and that plays a vital role while you can use firebase functions you can use a iot chatbot and all those things that i have already included this series so i was looking for a lot of things and you can see here from my friend danilo he also like uh, is one of my friend he was uh, checking a lot of things and doing some research in this iot with firebase so uh, we found that there is also an issue named database fingerprint changes it means uh if you're using this library and you added all the credentials from your firebase account and what will happen uh, what will happen after two to three days your credentials will not work it means you after two days if you deployed your uh, device in a production or somewhere you won't be able to push the data to the firebase so that's one of the cram breaking issue because you can't use it anyway it is like uh, it's just for testing use so here i found a uh, here i found a solution here I got a guy named Mobsit and here he created a library, here he got a library for Firebase ESP8266. It is working for each device, either it is a ESP01 or other relay circuits and all. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this library and guys, this library is having a fix of this database fingerprint changes also because that's and I, I just like uh, checked it because here uh, in this here he also said like he already created this library because firebase extended this library is using uh, is having the issue with fingerprints and that's why he created this library and so that's really easy for us uh, because we can use this library and continue to do the works and you can see and if i check about this library you can see last last which was five days ago so that's one of the important thing it means currently a lot of development is going on and it will be really easy to get the patches done and you will help this guy so now let's see in this video i'm going to show you how you can get started with this so here we will what we will do first thing what you need to do if you want to use this library here you can see here, here is my esp8266 it is just a uh, led blink program is running over here in the my node mcu so now let's run a program by which we will just test our database over here so for testing what you can do you just need to go to a download zip and once this zip will get download now you need to navigate to the arduino and here in the sketch you need to go to the include library and click on add zip library the over here in downloads here i need to find that library and the library is this firebase esp8266 and guys uh, don't confuse don't confuse our previous library is firebase arduino this is firebase esp8266 if you click on open this library will get uh, because we are already having a library installed with this so i'm not going to show you how to install it. i think you already know if you have worked on and so now what we are going to use go to the files and in this examples so you can see here is my previous library that i've shown you in the previous tutorial there is firebase arduino now we are having a new library name firebase 826 client so here i'm going to show you the basic example so this is the basic example that i have already opened over here and in this example what you need to do just for testing you need to uh, change your uh, you need to change your host auth and wi-fi password so let me just show you uh, here is my esp so this uh, name is this uh, project name and if you don't know how to create this project if you're new, watching this video as a new guy you can watch my previous series and this series includes all those things that you can do all the logics are over here and if you guys want i, I need to create a new series for this library i will be really glad to help you guys and if you want i will surely create for you so now uh, let's do it so here i need to copy this 
uh, my project url i will go to this basic over here and here i will change the firebase host so be sure you don't use any http and add anything i need to remove this one also yeah so now next thing you need is a firebase secret and for that uh, you need to again go to the project overview and in project settings here go to the service accounts and the service accounts at the bottom you will be find the database secrets i'm gonna show you just a bit uh, so it's loading i have created two i have created multiple secrets one is by default and you can click on add secret if you don't getting so i'll just copy the secret and paste it over here so once this thing is done now we need to add the wi-fi ssid so here i'm typing my ssid and the password so my password is just few nagi seconds and so guys you can see here is the one thing like you need to configure your credentials while uploading the code if you want to know like uh, how you can resolve this issue like you can add these credentials from my android app that you can create by your own or you can add these credentials by using uh, like uh, from a from a web page you can figure out uh, let me know i will create a tutorial for that also so my code is done now just i'm not doing anything other thing like uh, how to get the data how to push the data for that if you want i can create another tutorial but the things are already same the functions are same so let's see here the code is getting uploaded it is getting compiled so it's done now let's check the first of all let's check the serial monitor over here so in serial monitor it's showing question mark question mark i think the reason might be because you can see why it is showing question mark over here because here we have set serial dot begin 115220 and here we are using 96 so let's change the board mode first of all it's a speed by which the data will be sent so i'm change i have changed the speed and uh, now after changing the speed i will press this reset button over here in my node mcu for checking the rock so you can see here it says set passed and the values are it means it is sending the values so now let's check it out i will navigate to the firebase over here and what this code will do it will just add a test reference in our firebase database so let's see i'll go to the real time database over here and you can see the values are already added if i remove it like let's see what will happen so now i have removed it i think as i will do the reset button over here it will again it should again push the data so let's see whether the data is getting pushed or not and what we are getting in this so you can see i think so you can see over here as you can see the data is getting pushed and let's move on to the cm monitor i will again cancel the test and you can see again the data is getting created so this fire this connection is getting successful and it is really working fine so i will suggest you guys to please move your all projects to this library because this library is not working at all now and it is having a hybrid development i will suggest you to contribute if you are guys having a good knowledge of c++ so i hope you got this video if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you are having any queries please let me know i will try to sort it out as soon as possible so that's it bye bye and have a nice day